everybody, this is your girl Benedict Tagafa, aka Empress Dick TV. Keep watching Odata DH TV. Love you. Hello guys, so welcome back to your daily entertainment buzz right here on Odati GH TV. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that anytime you drop a new content, you will be the first to be notified. And also don't forget to also drop your comments in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and loved ones. It says you can't wait to have you in Gambia. You know Gambia is like a second home. You know that already. some questions right now okay why about the network sorry you know yeah it probably had to like reconnect you to the new network this is no, much yeah. clearer though this is, much clearer. is this clearer yeah. for you guys too yes yeah, it's, it's clear over here as well um we can ask them if it's clear because i see you clearly anyway oh i didn't see you clearly before i think it was still trying to okay. connect to the other side all right we're good we're good to go now so yeah. I was asking a question like, you know, um, uh, more often I know we've done a song, we've done more than a song, we're going to be doing a lot more songs, but the uh, thing is that, I mean, I know a lot of people don't know certain things about, you know, huge, sometimes when a, a huge artist like yourself, you know, gets on top and then all of a sudden you can't hear from them and then speculations from left, right and center, she is that, she did this, she didn't do that. Like, you know, there's a lot of... People don't really get it, so it's, 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 I'm really happy that we're clearing, you know, the yeah. air, you feel me, yeah. to make people really actually understand that we have a life to live as well, man, and we go through the same right. things that we sing about, you know, <laughs> exactly. sometimes, sometimes you have to listen to your own songs, like one of this my lawyers true. has always told me, anytime I spoke to him and I complained about something, he comes up and tells me. Have you, you sang that song. You said this and that song. Go listen back to that song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, we're human, you know? Like, no one is exempt from hardship, from heartache, from failure, from pain. Mm -hmm. No one human being is ever going to be exempt from that. And you would be a fool to think that you are immune to <laughs> feeling yeah. certain certain of the pitfalls of life. You know what I mean? Some of the pitfalls of life. So that's that's really just what happened. Um, it was personal mm -hmm. for the most part, and then it became like it was really really hard to like get the troops back in order, and for me to, um, you know, keep my team together and and still intact and still believing in me and all mm -hmm. of that. So it was like, you know, I lost a few, didn't expect that. Lost a few, mm -hmm. had to kind of plug in certain players um, in different places and. That's it, you know. But I'm happy that I had that time to like live and learn myself and love, fall in love with life, fall in love with myself. Really? I got to experience a lot of things. I even got a bit of like anonymity, you know what I mean, out of it, which I didn't expect, you know. But I guess because it was so long, like I was able to like live freely and like dwell in the world as just a regular person. So I, I really did appreciate all of that, and I learned so much. I grew so grew so much. Um, I could never regret the time away, even though I know my fans were upset. And um, yeah, yeah, um, there are some questions in there. Um, okay, what I, we got? I know you have access to the questions as well. Uh, somebody saying, yeah. uh, I mean, please ask her why she doesn't tell her Beyonce loving haters to listen to her songs with Jay Z. <laughs> like, I mean, on, yeah, we can. Let's oh, we can skip. How do you feel about uh, getting a I'm going to say this. I do music for who loves me and who loves exactly. my music. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's just really? it. Uh, Let's just go over that. Somebody also says, uh, how was the feeling collaborating on this album? And also, it's been your first comeback after you went for a break. Is it your first comeback after you went for a break? That's what they ask. Yeah, I mean, basically, because I haven't... I've done other features. It would be like, you know... Um, somebody's EP or just a mm -hmm. feature. It's just a single they were just going out. 
you know, it wasn't anything like an official release like this. And it felt amazing, to be honest. I feel ready. I feel like it's time. I feel like God is telling me that mm-hmm. it's time. Um, kind of like how this whole thing came about. It was For like, real. okay, so, you know, when, when the universe or God or the source, whatever you want to call it, him, her, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, when certain things line up in a certain way. Um, and you feel like things are being divinely orchestrated, you have to say yes. There are certain Absolutely. times in your life when you just know that God is working and he's opening up channels and he's, you know, orchestrating and, and all your only job is to just stay in tune. Acquiesce yeah. to that. Yeah, say yes. So See, the question on the, um, somebody said, how, how are the artists able to sustain their music for this long and they look the same all these years? How do you, how do, you do it? Like they literally think, you know, how I don't know. I don't uh, look the same. I've been, I've been changing or like transforming. I yeah, I don't feel like I look the same either. I mean, but maintaining my youth, we, I, I guess that's a God thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't feel like I look the same. Although, no, I haven't done any surgeries. I'm so tired of hearing that. My nose is still the same big old nose that y'all been seeing. I just learned how to like. You know, keep the lines close. I didn't contour in the beginning of my career. I knew nothing about that. So things can mm-hmm. look a lot different with when the lines get right. When you contour the right places, you highlight the other places. You know what I mean? Anyway. Can she come here to perform for the Dream concert? Hey! Uh, we already <laughs> talked about that, right, No. Yeah, so they need an answer. Can you come? Yes. It's a simple yes or no. Yeah. So it's a yes, right? Yeah. Big yes. All That's right. Yes. That's when is it? Yes. it when is it? Go. When is it? It's usually in December, you know. Okay. So we're going to set I'm the sure, date. I'm sure. I'm sure our our international uh, traveling will open up by then. So yes, we should. Uh, definitely. As should. long as there's nothing Corona related, I will be at the Beam concert. Definitely so. Definitely so. Uh, does anyone have a question for Stone? Because I feel like I'm talking. No, it's way my more than you. No, it's my people. It's really my people. I'm, I'm it just is, trying okay. to send the request. I'm just trying to send them. Miss Carey. Okay. Why Stone Boy? Why did you choose Stone Boy for your first African collab? All right, I'll tell you why. Um. So I was on a plane. I was leaving LA to come to Atlanta, and I met a guy named Dusty D. Shout out to Dusty. <laughs> and um, we were just talking on the jetway. Something happened as we, as we were boarding the flight. We were just talking. He ends up saying, hey, you know, I'm friends with Stoneboy and Sarkady. And I was like, oh, I've heard of them. I know them. I know their music. They're really dope. And he was like, you know what? He was like, you should, you know, because at first when we talked, he didn't know who I was. I, you know, I'm sure I didn't look like quote unquote Carrie Hilson or maybe he did I don't know but then he eventually said that I um you know was he was he said something like um I think he called you right like when we landed exactly he did yeah so while yeah yeah yeah. I was asleep though I was asleep oh really yeah because it was (laughs) yeah 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 for sure I remember now yeah 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 and then we spoke and then, yeah. I mean, that's it. Long story short, time is running. We, we have like less than an hour. Oh, oh okay, I'm sorry. Is it going to yeah, so, go up? Is it, I think it yeah. cut and then we came back. So we're going to have some few minutes on top of the hour. There are questions, like lots yeah. of questions over here. And so that's 80% why, of that's the why, questions because is, 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 Dusty is, is made for the you. connection. Dusty made the connection. Mm-hmm. That, I felt like that was the universe because we were literally standing right next to each other. He made mm-hmm. the connection. We uh, <laughs> went to him at first. I was already coming here to the States. And I was working with um, Andre Harris, Dre Bombay, um, and he had just come back from South Africa working on Saudi Soul, and I think he did some mm-hmm. things with Nasty, Nasty C and um, some other folks, right? So mm-hmm. he was kind of already in the like reggae, Afrobeat, dancehall vibe, and he's all, he's also worked with like the Marleys and and everybody, like, you know, everybody, mm-hmm. like a lot mm-hmm. of people. So I mean, but even in your realm, so it was kind of perfect that I was already here with him. And it was one touch when he, 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 I mean, he went on the keyboard. It was just really simple. The he first thing he played, the first thing he played like, was what we went on. The first know? thing he played, the whole room, we were like, 
That's crazy. it. Super crazy. When I, uh, you know, I, I, had to, I had to wait for your reaction because this was like your song. So I was I was wondering, like, I remember when as soon as he played, I, I remember like peeking at you and you and Selassie were over there. Mm-hmm. And both mm-hmm. of y'all were like, like that. Y'all, gave that. y'all gave that look. I was like, okay, we good. We good. We good. Very <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dope. Big ups to Drake right. Bombay. Is dope. Another one there. Yeah, that was, a fun, that was a fun session. Mm-hmm. For real, really it was. It was. I had a lot of fun, like, you know. Mm-hmm. We went to get some local foods as well, you know. I had some Ghanaian food. Yeah. <laughs> they found some. They found some in Atlanta. Listen. Yo, but Atlanta, um, at, at, like, yeah, my Atlanta has it. Atlanta has it. Like, anything it African. So, Atlanta, I was man. so, that was the highlight of the session. I love you. We had great chemistry. The highlight of my session was eating the gun. I had food. People, my fans know I'm a food. So <laughs> I was like, that was so, I ate with my, it was so good. Hands all in. I came back smelling like all kind of fish and so I didn't care. All right. So what was it? Uh, well, there was a question I missed. Mm, it said, um, what was the feeling like choosing, you know? Oh, working or? Yeah. Yeah. Working with, okay, I mean, all right, so how okay. was the feeling working with them? All right, so let me tell y'all, Stoneboy, he moves like a king. He don't go nowhere by himself, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So he came, you came to the studio deep. When, when, when we say deep, it means like a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So Stone came, you had your squad. You had your, I don't want to say entourage, but because everyone had a job, I think. <laughs> Um, the Beam Nation, man. Beam Nation is, is the Beam is, is, is Nation is squad. It's loud everywhere. Yes. Yeah. So, but um, in a nutshell, like real quick, like it was just it was chemistry. Some things you can't like real. you can't real. fake. But when it comes to music, you cannot fake chemistry. I've been doing this for over twenty years now. You can't <laughs> fake that. So that's what we had. Like even though I, even though I did ask at some point, like, can they go in the lounge? Do you mind if they just? Chill out out there. Yeah. We just vibe like we vibed without, so it was good. Um, Stone? Some, this one is for me. Yeah. Oh, this is for you, Stone. You've collaborated with a load of artists. How would you describe working with Miss Carrie? Um, this is not a difficult one, but I don't. I can't find words. First and foremost, I know Carrie Hill scene. We've heard Carrie Hill scene. You know, seeing you on the TVs like. You know what I mean? Like, beautiful woman, beautiful lady. She knows how to do her things. Everything she's done on the screen is perfect. Like, you know. Then I get the opportunity, like the story went, to come. I was also coming to the States that, that yeah, the following week. So it was like, wow. Dusty didn't even know I was going to be in the States. So when I told him, he said, am I serious? I said, yes. I'm coming to the States, like, in a few days. Oh, yeah, you, know, you had a show. Be, you were in you know? Houston, I think? Yes. Okay. Yes, and then I, you know, came all the way to... And this was November, right? Exactly. Uh, but how, you know, for the question the person asked, it was um, talking to you, like, to... Because to, to, we vibed. You went straight on to what I had to make you download WhatsApp, right? Because you were like an iMessage kind of thing. And yeah. then... <laughs> I got that, WhatsApp that for alone, you. Uh-huh. For real. Thank you. That... Uh, uh, like, uh, like like that alone killed it for me. I, I I could already imagine what type of person you are. Like I, I it just tripled my my love, you know, for 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 Kerry Hilson as an artist because that's like the real human aspect you just showed me right there. You know what I mean? Like, and I believe that everybody should be human about it, regardless of how big you are, yeah. you know, or because a lot of people. It is those who think they are big that act big. They are only thinking they are, but they are not. Those who are really big <laughs> just go, just just go on with it. So that's how I felt, you know, connecting with you for the first time. And then when you invited us over to your studio, you spoke with me directly. It was no manager thing, but there's a huge team behind it. But you moved the management to the managers to deal with whatever who's playing whatever role. But for an artist to connect with me, artist to artist, you know, it's beautiful because I'm one person and you can attest, I, I do not cross boundaries regardless yeah. of the relationship. Yeah. yeah. I'm, if I'm going to, I would make sure everything is cool and okay and comes with a lot of respect if yeah. somebody opens up to me like this, you know what I mean? And this is how I 
deal with people as well. Because a lot of people will be like, yo, Stone, come on, you're too real. And when I met another real person, that was it for me. So that's it. Even if we didn't Thanks. do any music, whatever, yeah. that is it for me. Because, it I mean... Was the same. But I, had the same, I had the same feeling. Fortunately, we did, we did songs. And Nominate is like, wow. Yeah. And I know a lot more are going to come. But the album is crazy. It only dropped like, today is Sunday, right? Two days after. And we're running into like 5 million plus on Audio Max only. And number one album right now wow. on Apple iTunes. You know what I mean? It's going crazy because it sounds like... Today I was playing the whole album. Like I've never, ever, ever actually listened to myself with with this much. Yeah, you know, yeah. Feeling every little, <laughs> you know, and everybody else yeah. is feeling it. So let's go to the next question. Okay. It was amazing work. And by the way, guys, I felt this. I felt the exact same. Like it, he was just a real person. Like I know. I was telling you on the phone the other day. Someone like. It was a comment in my section, and someone called you the. Someone said we're so happy you got to work with the Most High Stone Boy. I was like the Most High. They 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 talked about you like a <laughs> god. <laughs> I was so taken aback, but I, I understand that because I've seen now that I've been more, I was aware of you, but now I'm like deeply aware of your presence, like throughout Africa, not just Ghana, um, especially your region, but like, you're so, you're that influential. And I was like, okay, I can understand. He has like this, like, it's a nation, just say it's a nation, you know, it's a na I mean, you have an effect, you have a real effect like that, but you really are who you portray to be. The music that you make is exactly who you are. How humble, how respectful you sound, how, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way you speak of women, the way you, you know, your your way is, like, true. Okay, Carrie, if you were to refer to Stone to another female American artist, who would that be? Do you mean, like, I guess they mean music-wise? Um, yeah, music-wise, I guess. I'd love to hear you and Rihanna. Oh, yes. How do you know? Why do you? I think it'd be. I think it would be because she does. You know, she's like she kills that vibe so effortlessly. She, you know, she's from the islands, from uh, Barbados. So I think it'd be really, really cold hearing y'all's two voices on a record. Mm -hmm. And it, it would be even colder hearing the three of us on a song. Even colder. Yeah. That'd be crazy. That Who's gonna put that? Who, who do you think? I think Dre would. Dre would kill it. Definitely, Jay would finish it. Yeah, yeah. Jay would finish it. Okay, does the He'll collab with um, Stone encourage you to do more collabs with more Ghanaians? Um, sure. You know, I don't do a lot of collabs, so, I mean, it's not like I would just, like, do it with just anyone. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, for real. Stone, you're special because you have a following, you have a presence, I like what you represent, we have a chemistry, mm -hmm. it's, it's all got to line up like that you know what i mean so mm -hmm. I, I mean somebody's sure. asking already but can we get another cup from you <laughs> well damn um <laughs> we've already started um a couple other songs but one for sure that's really special uh, produced yeah. by Selassie. yeah mm -hmm. i think corona actually you know messed it up yeah oh we yeah oh yeah so as soon as we shot the video we were supposed to go back in the studio to finish mm -hmm. the records and I was scared because we were, he wasn't scared, but I was no, scared. No, I wasn't. At the, at the time, I wasn't. And I was freaking no. out. You know, you were so scared. Like, yo, you're like, yeah, but. but I was I like, we just came really from New wanted... York. It was the epicenter. We should quarantine. So as soon as I landed back from the video, <laughs> quarantine wasn't official, but I just felt nervous because I didn't want to be around anyone and, like, pass it to anyone else or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was nervous. This one yeah. say, they just want to say thank you for being but on yes, that world junction. Will... Huh? Somebody says, do you have any? Do you guys have any genuine sense of happiness making music? Yes. Yeah. All right. So if you're a Ghanaian, what tribe would you be? <laughs> you tell me. I forgot the name no, of the but, tribe. But you... you should be Ewe. Like you know, yeah. Ewe. You look like an Ewe girl, or I think a Fanti girl somehow. Okay. Yeah. Fanti uh, or Ewe. Yeah, I but forgot all of the anyway way you taught me, by the way. Right now, I have to be, I have to be, I have to be um, tribalistic and then selfish. So I think you're going to be an <laughs> error. You're going to be an error right now. Um, 
on what day were you born anyway? What day? So we find out what name you're gonna be called in in, lo in Ghana, like you know, locally. Because we have yeah, we figured well. that out. We posted it. We posted what my yes, name would be. Yes, but yes, I don't remember. Yes. I was born, so it was I don't remember what day. I, I remember what time. I we looked it up. I think I googled it, and now I'm on my phone right now, so I can't look it up. But okay, we, my AOA name is on Twitter somewhere. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think it was Sunday. I can't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. I think Sunday. Okay, Sunday is um um Sunday bonds are what? Well, how do you call them? Is, is it AC right? Yeah. S -E -E? Yeah, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it was Sunday. Oh, someone just posted it. Who is that? Carrie Hilson underscore B A fan page. Hi Nina. <laughs> Dre Bombay, yeah, he killed it. All right, what's up, Dre? I guess he may be on here. Um, <laughs> yo, big up, Dre. I just, yeah. Someone said this is the. Is he here? You see him? All right, this is the best inter internet connection I've seen on live. Damn. All right, good. Sorry. Whoa. Hey, what's so, up, Dre? Yeah, uh, let's, Dre let's Bombay, the producer we got in here, smashed it. The legendary Andre Harris from Dre and Vidal. Look up that Wikipedia. Serious. Wikipedia. Okay. Gary, you said you would release an album called Liar a while ago. What happened to that? All right. So, first of all, it's been renamed uh, for a couple of years. Um, <laughs> it is, it has taken a different shape. It's gotten a few different, um, records, newer records. Um, it's taken a different shape, but I'm really proud of it. Um, it has a new title. What happened was, uh, in a nutshell, business needed to happen about it so that before I could release it, like I pride myself on taking the reason I was able to take this break and not have to like put out, throw out a bunch of rushed music and all those things is because I pr pride myself on doing good business. So once that was taken care of, which it just, the floodgates are open. Oh, thanks. Dre says it's fire. <laughs> Dre has another record on this album, by the way, maybe two. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm really proud of it. They want me to say something in anyway. I don't remember any. You taught what me you said. words. You said you, like, do you remember what um, what your part meant or means? The the part yeah. you sang the song. Whale. Mm -hmm. Whale means. And I told you it meant something. Do it. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Yes. So when he says whale, whale, that's why yeah, I came with a response and said, I know Kenna G my way playing on my way now. Whale. Anyway, I let you go. So that's stage. We just have to do an acapella. Something I know. That the vibe is good. I remember, girl, I want you to know. I never let you go. Nobody with them, other. I know them run the show like an arrow and a bow. Shoot it up into my soul. And even if I'm bleeding, nobody has to know. You alone, I'm a artist. Cool and good, but you're sexy and hot. Champion lover, you are boss of the chart. Can't cut him like a sparta. <laughs> yeah, man. I just did my part, so I'm off it. He did I his part. Like done. Well, that mm. was your next line, too, but it's okay. Um, Let's see. Yo, I'm a racist, scary stuff, fine as why, Charlie. I met you five years ago at the crew guy in Dicker. Decatur or some somewhere is that Decatur. Decatur. At a program in Decatur when I was in college. I know you probably don't remember. No, I don't. So no hard feelings. <laughs> hi, hi, uh, Amare. With the East Side. Yeah, Amare. Amare is one of the finest songstresses, like you know, from Ghana. She's been like my. I'm sorry, but I can say she's been like my daughter, like you know, from them. Oh, okay. And I'm. Okay. I, I should. I'm probably one of the happiest artists, knowing that she's blown. She's she's on the levels. And she's gonna get bigger, you know, because I put on uh, my song like ten years ago. You know, I, I've been telling her she could do it, you know. And 
Someone so says Daryl in AOA means beautiful girl. Say it. Is it Daryl? We Darryl, say Joey B. Hey, Joey B. Joey B is one of the biggest rappers right here from Ghana. You know, he's an artist, he's like a brother of mine as well. He's okay. been having a crush on you for 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 days. Joey B. Finally, you. I think he was the one hey, who asked me to get the. No, Joey. I think Joey was the one who said I should get the autograph. Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone says, Carrie, when are you coming to Ghana? I'm coming to Ghana as soon as I can. As soon as the, yep. they allow international traveling, um, I'll be there. And if not before, mm -hmm. the Beam concert, definitely by the Beam concert. Definitely. That's going to yeah. happen, man. Okay, right. somebody said, what makes you fall in love with Afrobeat? John? what do you love about Afrobeat? That's right. Who doesn't like, are they talking to you? Nah, I mean, it's you. Um... Who doesn't love Afrobeats? It's a vibe. Even when you don't understand the lyrics, the melodies, and the oh, rhythm. Like, we're black. We're still black. You know absolutely. I mean? so we're still black. Yeah. We're still black. Like, so we're we still, still black. We never left. We still, right? There's still, still something. Black. We may have been displaced, but there's something in our soul that just makes us move and feel that music in our soul. It's like we remember. You know what I mean? Yep. Carrie, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. Okay, I'm looking for another question. Uh huh. There's another beautiful song stress called If You Are in Ghana, She Can Sing. She's I mean, I like, have a crush oh, on somebody. I have a crush on somebody, but they tripping. It's all right. Carrie, please, I want you to collaborate with my girl, F. How do you say that? F. I. Yeah, F. I. F. I. F. I. Mm -hmm. uh, that's um, she was the one I was talking about. Beautiful song oh, stress. Oh. I think you, could, you should check her out as well from Ghana. She's crazy. She's, she's dope. She's dope. Yeah, I'll make sure you, you know, I'll, make, I'll put you on a couple more Ghanaians so you know where I'll go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, only, but right only now we're nominating the place, man. Nominating is <laughs> huge. You know? We are, yes. Yeah. Yes, we're, we're still, we're going to roll with this. Carrie and Stone, Ice and Fire. I guess he's the cold, he's the ice, because I'm a fire sign. I'm a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Somebody's like, how was it making the, um, um, filming the video or something? Oh, well, we well, well, went on behind the scenes because they've seen the behind the scenes. And, okay, you know. I mean, nothing, um, not on Carrie Hilson. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see, I don't know what to say. I mean, it was a smooth day, it was a long, long, long. We shot for 20 something hours, absolutely long day. Long day. Yeah. And then the Corona fright was still in town, so we couldn't do the outdoor concept. <laughs> we, had to, we had to do the indoor concept. Like, yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. It was Hello. nice. It was fun. It was very smooth. Shout out to mm -hmm. Denzel Williams, who, um, mm -hmm. who uh, directed it. It's good. Shout out to Jaleen Coggins, my stylist. Saisha um, Bisham, who did hair and makeup. Uh, shout out, you want to shout out your team? Good. Definitely, why not? Shout out to K KB Online, shout out to the graphic team, Fawaz, Duke, K Studios, shout out to myself, yes. my label, yes, Brandon yes, Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out to the whole self, team. Man. Yeah, shout out to self, because sometimes we have to shout out to self, because we do too you much, know. man. We do too much and take it for granted. <laughs> yeah, man. Somebody's like, are you going to connect to, I mean, to some oh, other American cool. artist? What? Are you Somebody going to do more with American artists? Like, bitch, are you going to connect? I think I read it. Are you going to connect Stone to some other American artists? However, that, that's what they are. I don't think Stone needs me to do that, but if there's someone that he that he needs to reach that I yeah, have man. reached to, then absolutely. Yeah, my. Stone does not need my help. Everyone knows Stone. Who says? One Who says? God. Who says? I need your help. And we need each other's help. Like, humans need each other. Like, right now, that's true. Even more in this corona season, you feel me? So, they say no man is an island, but you have to connect to the right people. Or else, they start mining the island. And they, that's true. they don't bring anything to you. Yeah, man, this has been nice. This has been like an in depth conversation. So, we're running till we hit the top of the hour and then it's done. Shut up. Well, I think we're good because we, we have about 15 more minutes on this hour because we started a new live already when it, mm -hmm. when it, when it came off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, crazy. But we appreciate, I mean, Ghana appreciates this. And yeah. I want you to send some shouts to the Beam family because 
Beam Nation is a nation like worldwide. That's my family. That's my nation, right? Yes, and then the, there's like three surnames, you know. There are three families in Beam Nation. Mm. I think the official three, maybe yeah. We have the the Beam family, the Boy family, and the Bernetan family. You know. Oh. So what so, distinguishes the three families? Okay, there's no difference. It's, it's all connected oh. to the same source. It's all connected to the Stone Boy, right? Yeah. And the fact is that Stone Boy, so you said the Boy, so it's Boy mm-hmm. family. So you have fam, fans who have their own cliques. So somebody oh, could be yeah. like Kerry Boy. That's like I mean, I'm just saying. You know, okay. somebody could be like Hilson Boy. So, you know, that's the boy family, you know, but they have real names. Somebody to also be like, um, maybe Kerry Beam. So, you know, it's Kerry Beam. So, it's a Beam family in the same clique. And somebody could also be like Kerry Bernetton. So, you know, okay. it's a huge thing. It's a huge clique. So, shout out okay. to all of these, these um, the sets. Yeah, I've I mean, been seeing in all of my mentions, Beam Nation and One God and... Uh, all kinds of nicknames yeah, you have. Bernetton, I've seen that in my yeah, life. Man. So but shout out to Ghana. Beam Nation right now, so you know. Right now, you're officially Beam Nation, so that's got to be your first love. You can show love to any other nation. Let's get an imperial but you can't have no, no dual citizen. But you can't have no dual citizen. Alright? No what? You can't have no dual citizenship in this, in this oh, case. You're, no you're dual citizenship. Beam Nation. You're Beam Nation. <laughs> so that means. That means I can't work with another Ghanaian artist. That's cool. You can, you can, because I work with Ghanaian, but you, uh, you don't. You, your allegiance and your loyalty is to you. Absolutely. At the, not to me. I'm, I'm, I mean, we're cool, but Beam Nation. So that's it. Because <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> but okay. yeah. All right. Let's take now another the, question. <laughs> I'm looking through the questions. Big up to KMJ. No, my, my allegiance. You were the Big first. You were my first introduction to this, this, that world. Like, I've been going to Africa for so many years, and I've been, like, 15, 16 times to however many countries. However, you were the first. And I've always wanted to do it. I love, I gravitate towards the music. Um, and you were my first opportunity to do that. So I always have, you know, allegiance exactly. to you, for Big sure. Up. So I'm happy Big to be the nation. I'm, I'm happy that you were my first. It's going super well. I see we were trending like 1 through 11. Um, <laughs> yeah, for real. Thanks every, for the fun days, man. We have, a, yeah. we have a nation behind us. You know what it is? I see. We have a nation. I you see know, it. I feel it. Is, I feel the love. Yeah, man. The nation is like... Hey, okay, we're back. What's that, Mike? I don't know. It's one of us. It's internet, you know. We just it's pray that internet. Corona doesn't doesn't finish it up. That's my prayers. I don't know if Corona <laughs> can also mess up the internet. I don't know. <laughs> because yeah. it's airborne and it's dangerous, right? Hey, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, what's next? Hey, Nikki. Um, Nikki Chu. Mm, okay. Big ups to the Beam Boss ladies as well. Yo, that's another sect of the fan base. They've been doing some crazy work. Like, they donated a lot of food stuff to oh. the people in Ashaiman today. Oh, and I'm awesome. so proud of them. Like That's your hometown. Exactly. And I, yeah. um, I think somebody's also asking if you're going to come for the Ashaiman to the World Concert. That's, that's like, yo. You know, because now you're being native, so they want you to be part of everything and anything. I'm going to get that pressure, so you make sure you find time for me as well. When they call on it, I can just do what I have to do, and then you're here, because this is your African fan base. This is an African stronghold, yeah. you know? Yeah. My nation is your nation, literally. I love it. I'm happy to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. So, Kerry, tell us more about the album, actually. We've been talking about this album for a very long time, and that's why we're like touching base and all that other stuff. But 
this album is huge. Young Logan Junction album. Like you should ask me questions, you know, for the last part of the the the, the, the live because I've asked you a lot, and the okay. fans have asked you a lot. So there's you should also ask ask you. Yeah, sure. Why. Let's do it. Exactly. All right. So let's see. What's your favorite song? On the album is I yeah. think I say I say. Uh, don't play me, my missika and try me to go now. Who is seven? I'm daddy, my team, if you're to a year, bong bong, why you want my fanny coco? Say, I'm a man, you know, and I'm a team, you won't know, yeah, at the answer. Now, my son, you go go, go to me, so already money for the coco, and I'm a capture, I'm sure you want that's number one, right? Is that that's, number one? Um, that's journey, and uh, that's oh, the three, journey. right? Yeah, and that's three, that's three yeah. language, the film is so the journey okay. is by. It's an Anglo language, it's like crazy. Like uh, Bible, it's, that's a spiritual song. Okay. Track one is a spiritual song, and I mean, however okay. it came to me, you know, music is spirit still, so I like it. I'll say, Me nana ma, me me nana ma, five, no. Me nana ma konui, me nana ma koji jo, me nana ma konui. I'm gonna get my charger. <laughs> Charging my phone. Before it dies out. Yes. Um. Oh, somebody says I want to marry Kelly. Someone said what? Somebody says they want to marry Kelly Hilson. So how can that be possible? Guess you gotta figure it out. <laughs> you gotta figure it out. Um. Yeah, but this album is huge and. Just want everybody to go out there, subscribe you know, on YouTube you know. at Stoneboy, check it out. Yeah, check it. out the album, Look man. It it's, it's crazy. Why do you call it Anloga Junction? What does that title mean to you? Why do I call it what? Anloga Junction. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I wanted to get you to pronounce the word the way the airways will pronounce it. That's why I asked again. Oh, did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, you tried. Um, <laughs> you, you... you you have you to <laughs> yeah you have to put like a g in between um, the n and the l Angloga. you know so that's how you get like angloga angloga oh okay like angloga okay. but the g is silent though somehow it's really silent. angloga, angloga junction yeah um, so why i named the angloga junction is just um like i've been saying the experience you know the experiences you know from africa and then junction is an English word that would represent for the Western world as well. So that's the Western world in Africa put together, you know, the uh, influences and the experiences that I've had over the period of years to put this album together. Okay. So it's just two words that represent two worlds, you know, coming Got together. It. As simple as that. But the words are not... Angloga is not a real place. It is. That's my hometown. That's where I come from. Oh, I thought you were from Ash. What is it called? Ashaiman is the city I represent still. Oh, okay. Because I grew up in Ashaiman. You know, I grew up in Ashaiman. You know me like. I okay. don't know, but everybody comes from a, comes from somewhere. You know what I mean? We live in Accra, but I I I mean, this is not my hometown. This is not my. You know what I mean? My um, my. How do I say? My country. You're from the style. village of a shaman. No, <laughs> a shaman is just a city, right? It's just a it's city, city in Accra. It's in a Accra. city in Accra. Some people okay. come from a shaman, like that's where they were. That's where their families are. That's where their roots is. That's where their grandparents, you know. But where I find my great grandparents and everything is straight up in the Volta region, Angloga, okay. You know what I mean? That's okay. where I'm from. You got so it. I'm not going to understand until you take me. I guess we're going to have to see your hometown. Wow, that's cool. So December when you come there, we're going to do a yeah. food. Like we're going to yeah. go to Angloga. I want to see Angloga. I want to see uh, Ashaiman. I want to see yes. Yes. everywhere. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me think. I'm, I, I feel like I had another question. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, Joey B is like, because you want to get your charger, and Joey B says you could come for her, his charger. Oh my goodness, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
So yeah, yeah man, I don't know I'm out of the studio would have played the song, so they, you know what I mean? Because I've seen a couple of requests saying, "Yo, you guys perform the song, perform the song." <laughs> you know. I think it won't work. I haven't seen it work on live where where the sound is. Um, usually, there's a delay when exactly. we watch it back. One person thinks they're on beat, and one person is actually on beat. And it doesn't really... But the other is not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So just go download the record. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to Junction. Yeah. And you don't know, you know. That's it. So, um, what next? I see you've been doing, um, yeah, the charity thing is going on still. Oh, yeah. 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 The If anybody wants to help us out, we've been feeding the front lines um, of health care essential workers we've been allowing them some healthy food healthy lunch and um also comes with like an immune and wellness shot so we're keeping them healthy because mm -hmm. as we know health you know what i mean yeah. has a, your diet has a huge part in your immune system and keeping Absolutely. that healthy strong so they are on the front lines they're fighting in the respiratory icu and mm -hmm. covid units and so we've been helping them. The link is in my bio for those that would like. It's with Kill Me Crazy. Um, Share Care is one of the sponsors, and the Carrie Hilson Foundation is also um, one of the partners. So, yeah, the link that link is in my bio. It's the only reason that the Stone Boy video link on YouTube is not in my bio. It's the only reason, because uh, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I somebody was asking. That we should do a challenge for the song, nominate challenge. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. Right here and, and uh, right here and now. What do you think the challenge would be about? Should be about. You know, we can easily have that nominate challenge and get it going. You know, yeah. by singing the song and posting and uploading on trailer and all these places. But what could it be about? Like, you know. Maybe because we have, an we idea. have this whole worldwide pandemic going on. And I was just saying, and you guys can give us ideas in our comments. I think we can we can accept ideas. But I think because there's a huge worldwide pandemic going on and health yeah. is um, staying healthy, keeping your immune up, you know, um, eating right and all of that is like such a huge thing. I think maybe we do something in that realm. In that like, realm? Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe so how? Because... Challenge. Mm -hmm. Nominate challenge, yes, we play the song in the back and upload it and show the world we like it, but then how? Yes. So you mean eating fruit or something or eating something healthy? Yeah. Or? That's uh, perfect. You know, um, Shaka Bars and Fruits and Roots. Do you know him? He's moving to Ghana. Yeah, I know Shaka. Yes, you I know, know Shaka, yes. Yeah, yeah, he told me the other time that he's moving to Ghana, yes. He's always, he's always yeah. been in Ghana anyway. But you have been oh, okay. only once, so it's your. I mean, after Corona, you're gonna have to. You have a house you already say now. I've got that connected for okay. you, so you know, okay, just good. say yes, and you, and you have a house, you know. All right, yeah, cool. it's I'm already coming. done. I'm coming. Um, uh, I think that might be a good. That might be a good. I said yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, uh -huh. I'm taking. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell some of my people, some of my business people, to get that sorted right now, and then we get okay. it going on. You know, yeah. Sounds For real though, no lies. No, I'm serious. So somebody as as can dance travel. Channel, nominate dance challenge. That's what somebody tell you. Dance. Okay. And I, I don't know. I feel like we could do that. I mean, that's a, that's a given. It's a happy song. You know what I mean? It's like, and it's called nominate. So you can nominate other people to do the challenge with you. And I think it can be fun. But I feel like dancing is just so easy. You know what I mean? Oh, this is KMJ. No He's comment. an online radio personality in Ghana and a, and okay. a huge MC. He says, let people nominate various frontline health officers and send them shouts with a song at the background and post them. Whoa. Mm. Various. Uh, um, we have to screenshot that because I didn't catch every word. The thing was um, going in and out. And it's probably going to yeah. I think he says, let people break. nominate various frontline health officers. And then and, and and send them shouts. Okay, that would still be good though because if you know any doctor, any nurse who's working, or any any military, any security service personnel, you can, you know, we can nominate these people to. Yeah, that that's that's not bad at all. That could yeah. also work, you know. Yeah, that's another. We'll thing. find it because Monday we have to start the challenge on Monday, which is tomorrow. Mm. You know. Hours. Okay. We have to start the challenge on Monday. 
you know. Carrie, okay, um, one, one picks two separate food and nominate the best. Oh, two separate foods and nominate the best. I don't, I don't know that. Wow. I don't know that. Okay. Someone said they'll buy me a house. Okay. Well, Stone, I don't need your house. We have someone saying they're going to buy me a house. I guess they're talking about in Ghana. So thanks. Yes. In Ghana, I appreciate yes. it. It needs to be in my name. <laughs> don't, um, don't, don't worry. <laughs> ooh, good question. Do you think the album has Grammy potential? I absolutely do. I, you already were nominated for the Grammys before, right? You like. Yeah, yeah. I've featured You've been on an nominated album with, how many um, times? No, just once because I featured on an album with uh, Morgan Heritage. Big up to Grams Morgan. He's, he's, he's watching right now. Big okay. up to Grams. Yeah, What's man. Up, Grams? So, and you've been nominated twice as well. Yeah, yeah. I think um, whether it's a single, whether it's the entire project, I don't see why not. I don't see why you can't snatch it with the momentum that you have on this. Absolutely. So far. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We're working towards that as well. Yes, I think we can play the song on the background and perform the precautionary measures while singing. Wow. Oh, like COVID precautionary measures. I saw someone uh, said wash your hands with the video playing or some creative way to wash your hands or something like that. Yeah, one also says you can also eat fruit and nominate others to do the same. Yeah, mm. I think that's That's, that's cool. close, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that definitely boosts your immune system. I just think, yeah, really, I just think... People are not really big on fruits, you know. People just want to eat some banku and some kinky and some, you know, some real food and then, you know, that's it. And I like, understand well, that. But yes, but but those banku is banku, you know, but fruits actually, yeah. you know, have From some the earth, vitamins that, uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't think banku has vitamins in it. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I don't you can know. get some carbs from that one. And but, everywhere you know, around the world well. has fruit too. So exactly, you can. It's something so, that you know is not exclusive to anywhere. So are we, any, are like, we settling on a fruit vibe? Are we settling on a fruit vibes? Uh, I think it's. A, I think it's a great idea. We'll, we'll have I to see. Maybe we start the challenge mm -hmm. off. We just have some few more hours to see. Yeah, we started off and see which one picks up, and then we just. Yeah. yeah, we will. We'll decide. Somebody says nominating our girlfriends or mothers to do the challenge. Uh -huh. Somebody says nominating our girlfriends or mothers to do the challenge. Oh, okay, that's that not a bad wild. idea. Yeah, but it's wild. Um, big up to OG the MC. Big up to OG. Big up to Adam Fuyavevo. Big up to Self Makazi. You know, people are tuning in right now. Um, All right. Yeah, literally, man. Thanks for having you and coming on live for the, for the people of Ghana, you know? And we appreciate yeah. you and um, thanks for the support. I mean, actually, I think a lot of the fans have actually been surprised, you know, um, by the fact that this is a, this should be, I mean, my, anytime I do a feature with anybody, they jump onto it and put themselves inside of it because it's always been off of real energy you know off of real energy you know what i mean yeah. so thanks the for putting best, in that same energy back and supporting happen like that yeah exactly yeah for putting i think the best, the the best and, things happen just like that mm -hmm. sorry gonna really appreciate it and this song is gonna be the biggest song when you come down to ghana we we'll perform this song we we'll do like a ghanaian tour even you know uh, you know, do big things, man. Do like an yeah. African tour, even. A whole know? African do tour. Do big things. After the corona goes off, Jano, yeah. we're going to roam with it and nominate people to show love, you know, and all these things. Because like we that. need to revive their hopes back as well, you know. Because yeah. after everything goes off, people will feel very skeptical to 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 come out. So that's, that's true. Post, Especially like, to a concert, yes, you know? yes, yes. Yes. I don't know how long they're going to like keep them. Maybe they'll limit the amount of people or make you be there and socially distance, which never happens in Africa. Like a lot of times there's not even seats. We're just standing. It's like it's like crowds upon crowd. The, the crowds in Africa, at least the shows that I've done, have been like massive, massive crowds. So I don't know how that's going to yeah, go. But, you know, honestly, I'd be willing to take yeah, the risk because Africa shows me so much love. <laughs> 
throughout for the real. years. For real. Yeah. Shout out to like all, that, of, so. all of the countries in Africa. Shout out to all the countries on the continent for all the love you've shown me throughout this year. We need you to show love to this song, Nominate, Stoneboy featuring Carrie. Go check out the video on his YouTube. Check out the song, Definitely. Apple Music, all the places. Yeah. Thank you so very much. So, I mean, that's it. Um, I hope they enjoyed the vibe, you know, the talk. It was not a regular performing sing, sing, sing thing. I think it was an in-depth conversation about the whole album. And some of the, most of the questions that I've read are like similar, so I couldn't even bring them up, you know. She's told you the story, the history behind the music, the making, behind the scenes. I mean, we wrote all, all those um, assets out and you guys have seen it. Beautiful. Thanks to everybody who made it happen. The album. Because what up, Dusty? What up, Drake? Yeah, yeah, big up, yeah, big up to Jay. Big up to Selassie. Yeah, big up to, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm cute. All of them were in the studio, you know, that day. Big up to every, 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 every. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you to go. It's almost, okay. um, yeah. All right. All right. Love you, bro. Love you. Bless. <laughs> okay. Yeah.